uh, just in re preparing for this case, I learned a lot of things about these new ratios. There's only one ratio back when I was a resident, which I won't say how long ago that was. But now there's two or three more new ratios. Uh, do you want to tell me which was your favorite ratio out there for measurement of yeah. Patella, Alta, or Baja? Which I love saying, yeah, so, by the way. <laughs> well, <laughs> lots of ratios. And the best part of the ratios, they all have fancy names behind them. So, I mean, there's um, in Salsavati ratio, Caton de Champs ratio. There's also Blackburn Peel ratio. All different ways, essentially, to measure what a normal patellar position is, height-wise. Uh, what would be considered Baja or too low or Alta and too high. Um, I typically use Caton de Champs, um, number one, because it's my favorite one to say, but number two is um, it doesn't depend on the position of the tibial tubercle. Um, and so in sports, we like that a lot because uh, if people have had prior tibial tubercle surgery or fractures or anything like that, then you don't have to worry about that. And so it takes the ratio of the uh, patellar articular surface um, and then the length through to the uh, tibial articular surface from the inferior aspect of the articular surface of the patella. Um, but more than the ratios, honestly, um, you know, in this setting, it, it's pretty clear that it's Alta, um, the patella is sitting high. I also find it sometimes uh, just less about the ratio and more comparing to the other side if in a, more of a, in the clinic setting. Um, you know, if someone has, their, they're normally in Alta and they, let's just say their Catan Thompson is 1.4 on one side because they have patella Alta. If you saw that in isolation, you know, without examining or not having a history, you might be concerned, but some people just naturally sit high. But in general, um, I use Catan de Champs, and this, this is certainly uh, clearly an acute injury.